Yes, guys, we are playing Garden of Bam Bam 3. Real quick, guys, I just want to say, I tried to record this game yesterday, but guess what happened? Apparently, I wasn't recording it, even though I pressed my record key right before I jumped into new game. So what happened is, like, I basically completed the game, but I still got some extra content near the end of this, so it's my, like, actual reaction to, like, the end of the game and stuff. Yeah, and I want to tell you guys my thoughts about the game because I am angry. Uh, this game, it's it's not good, man. It's not good, man. And uh, I was literally not about to uh, redo this game, but I decided to redo it. I'm like, might as well since my like recording didn't record, and I, uh, uh, you know, might as well just redo basically half of this game. And yeah. So I can show you guys some of the funny parts of this game, some of the tedious parts I had of this game, and then just, there's a, there's a lot of tedious parts in this game. Okay, for a parent looking for their missing child, time is a delicate matter. Click the clock to advance on this, so there's, no ta there's tables, and then, oh, there's that, I didn't, I didn't notice that last time. And then we got a new character, obviously, uh, there. Yeah, and everything's obviously changing and stuff. Yeah, the tables go away. Uh, yeah. Lights out and then drawings. See that? We're going to go into it. Okay. So I'm going to tell you some of the cutest parts. And I'm just going to be walking guys from what <laughs> was going on. So yeah, I just want to go through and talk about like what, how bad this game is. And everything about, oh yeah, I need batteries. Oh, it's Bam Bam. We gotta wait till Bam Bam. I'm talking. Glad to see you've made it. Hello, Bam Bam. I don't know how you did it, but then again, you survived the giant elevator crash, so uh, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Yep. Also, again, I apologize for hitting you over the head. In fact, it is for this reason that I believe we should not meet face to face. You see, for whatever reason, I'm prone to violent instincts. And I do not trust myself to not give in to them again. I have locked myself inside of a surveillance room. That way I can help without being a danger to you. We are currently on the lowest floor to remain active before everything went awry. There are many floors below us, but they've all remained closed and abandoned for quite some time. So just make sure not to fall. As for your children, I don't know exactly where they're being kept, but I know someone who does. Head to the aquatic sector. That's where he resides. Stinger Flynn. Yeah, Stinger Flynn. We gotta go to Stinger Flynn. I'm gonna read this note. Say what happened. I always knew I was an unlucky person, but this is a new standard. I, have, I leave a bustling floor, the washroom, and when I return, everybody's gone without a trace, which would have been peaceful if it wasn't for the giant bird walking around. I doubt I can keep this quiet for much longer. My breaths are getting very heavy. What's the bird doing outside of its containment? Anyway, I thought they were showing off only the short purple creature because we were behind on schedule. This is not how I imagine my end would be. Okay. So, I'm going to go through all the notes again because my recording did not record. And I, even though I pressed F5, because F5 is my key to record. I pressed it before I even pressed new game. And literally, one of the puzzles near the end, I had to look at the puzzle up and I just checked. And I don't see the record button. I'm like, what? It's not recording? And I'm like, no. And I'm like, I wasn't recording the whole time. It was basically near the end of the chapter, and I was so mad, and I was like, just really upset. That will be in a little bit. I'll show you guys that, uh, those clips of me finishing the game and actually having my reaction in, but it's not really a good reaction. So, but we're just gonna go through this game again, and enjoy it, and I'll, I'll tell you guys a lot of, as I go through this, I'll, I'll say my thoughts and stuff. Like the elevator, or not this, this conveyor thing or whatever, it's so, it's pretty cool, honestly. That is pretty cool. But... <sighs> Magdalena! It just hit me that you need the key card to operate the cable car. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Literally everyone had a copy. It's how you'd get from station to station. So, this character's new, and Abelina's new. And yeah, she's new too. Queen Bouncelia. Yeah, collect these 
grand because that's the thing we had there. Nah, nah, nah. But yeah, like this game is really just, just bad. Uh, it's just, it is bad. It's bad. It's, it's, it's horrible. But I'm not trying to be rude to the creators and stuff. Even what I say at a certain point in this video, you'll see I, uh, get mad at the creators. Uh, but, yeah, part of it because I was angry because my shit didn't record, but also I was tedious. I'm not even gonna lie. Part, some of these puzzles, man, were so tedious. Every time I died, I would have to literally restart back. Literally. And then redo the whole thing again. It was so annoying, man. It was so, so annoying, man. You'll see what I'm talking about later on. Uh, cause I don't wanna spoil if you guys haven't seen it. If you just are just following my channel, you just and wanna watch the series on my channel, alright. So I'm not gonna say anything, you know what I'm saying? Okay, the cleaner. I don't think I even got all the stuff. No, I might have not even got all the stuff. Dang it. Did I? I don't even know. Uh, hopefully I can collect the stuff in time. I don't know if I did though. Lonely, he's lonely. Lonely Nam Nam. I'm sorry Nam Nam, you're so lonely. I think I got all the stuff. But basically it says either the cleaners and they're required before the ends of shifts and you gotta, okay. Yes, yeah, so you have to drop all the crayons and stuff. When I, when I heard that sound effect for the first time though, uh... Okay, I didn't get everything, but basically I heard it and it, it scared the crap out of me. That sound effect scared the crap out of me when I, when I pressed that. I was like, Ooh, what the fuck is this that? You know, like, I was scared at first. Cause I was actually being like, oh, this jump scare is gonna be scary. And they just weren't. That's the honest truth, guys. And I wasn't scared, honestly. Barely. I was, I was scared only for like a little bit in the beginning and then after that I kinda, oh, I missed this one, okay. That's probably the last one. Oh, I forgot the placement of the, I think, thing. Okay, yeah. I don't like how you have to do this individually. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that one part in the game, dude. Where you have to individually just, oh, that is so annoying. And this one too, like, it's not quite done, but I don't know, I just can't put it like, oh my, so stupid. Yeah, I, I am mad at this game. I don't know if I'm going to play chapter four. That's up to you guys. If this video gets enough views, which I don't think it will, because this is not my first reaction, so I'm, I'm probably not going to get as much views on this. We'll see. Dear mommy, the nice jellyfish is very strong. He carried everyone here. What? To here? That's weird. But Miss Mason hates him and I don't know why. He loves Lipton. I think that's everything though. I think it's this part in here. I can't even tell. Like, it's somewhere in that part I think. That area is annoying. So tedious. Because oh, that part is it's so annoying. I'm not going to spoil for people who haven't watched it yet or anything, so it's, it's annoying. It is annoying. But I know what to do now. It's just like, at first, man, I mean, that's why I wish I had my reaction to it. I just didn't know I wasn't recording. I can't get that from that. I'm sorry, guys. I usually never have that happen to me when my recording messes up like that. So let's just pick up the key card, the purple key card, and we got to head up. Uh, oh, hi. <laughs> when I saw him, I got scared. I was like, oh, my gosh, he's back again. I'm not scared this time because I know he's not going to do anything. Hi, it's my friend Nam Nam. You're just a lonely man. Yeah. He's just a lonely man. He's friendly, you know? So, we got to go. We're in ground sector, and then there's the arboreal aquatic sector, and the medical sector, and then the progressive sector. We got to head towards, ah, uh, this way. Yeah, but this part is pretty cool. It's, like, super dark. You can barely see anything. Well, you can kind of see some of the level over there. You can see that, like. Kind of glitching out over there, so you can kind of see the level over there. But this thing in this game was pretty cool. Like, this area, kind of like going around it was pretty cool. But it was still slow. I wish it was a bit faster, but it's pretty slow. Okay, Stinger Flint, we got that. Uh, okay. We gotta go. Boop! This part, this, this puzzle wasn't that hard to do. It was pretty self-explanatory. And you don't really need to follow the X because sometimes the X doesn't help, so. <sighs> yeah, I got the orange key card. I'm trying to speedrun in this, but. I mostly do want to get to the parts that are probably the parts that I want to start talking about, you know? We go in that room, we can't go in that room because, you know. Nabalina says, there's a right somebody for everybody. You just need to look. Which is... Nab Nab. 
Because literally, when I saw Mabalina, I'm like, they literally just copy and pasted from Nab Nab and literally just put Mabalina at the end. So it's like, it's a bit weird. Uh, I really wish they would put more time into this game, though, like checkpoints especially, like, even if they don't put too much time, just put checkpoints in the game or something. The jellyfish, so this is about the jellyfish, which is finger flame. Case starting out as has happened in the beginning with most prior cases. I finally started showing signs of body and brain activity, which means actual testing will be possible soon. Roman see for two to three weeks has been observed in all prior cases when GV and the genomes are first mixed and placed into a body. Case 13 is abnormality in this aspect. Case 13's body has been only been in the expected dormant state for a single day and neural activity has already begun. Has already been observed this is new. A proposed theory is this phenomenon being the direct result of the modification applied to the gene Jivanium solution being used after the testing which case 12G would allow for maximum learning speed. This is not ready for a presentation. So we gotta go into Stinger Flynn's. This is where Stinger Flynn resides. But yeah, this like, this game is, it's just really tedious, man. That's, that's what I'm gonna get out of here. It's, just, it's really just, oh, here's Stinger Flynn. Dude, this room is so empty. When I was, when I was, uh, playing this, I should say on my own because I wasn't really recording it, so I should say on my own, but I thought I was recording it for you guys. Because, like, that's, that's what my plan was, to record this game for you guys, and then a lot of just stuff just happened when I was, like, I, I freaking found out at the very end that I wasn't recording for you guys. I know I'm repeating myself, so I'm gonna stop that and just keep moving on, you know. So this part scared me too, like, cause like, I was too scared to go under Stinger Flynn cause I'm like, oh, is he just gonna kill me if I go, like, under him? And I was so scared, like, I was freaking out at this part, but, yeah, he doesn't kill you. I mean, look at him. Oh, what, what is that where his eye is? Oh, that glitch. Look at his glitch, like, just the eyeball right there. Yeah, that's what that Communication, I don't know what that word is right there. This door, I don't think opens at all. I mean, what's in there? It looks like nothing. Wait. Ooh. Oh, it's Ben Ben's kindergarten. I think that's what it says. He's just a sleepy boy. He's sleeping. Look at him sleeping. He's, he's so tired. Ah, wake up, Stinger Flynn. I want to talk again, you know. Yeah, what's up? How are you doing? Had a rough day. I can tell. I have, yeah, I sure have. You diligently wait for the moment you leave this wretched place with your child in hand. I can also tell. I really want to, you know. Not to undermine your effort, but I fear that moment may never come. I cannot let it happen. And I will gladly show you why, but after I do, you take my advice. No, thank you, sir. Leave this place while you still can. Erase it from your memory. Move on and forget any of this ever happened. I'm not scared of a jellyfish. Tomorrow will be a better day. Oh, look at his. Oh, no, he's got. Oh, he's got. Oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh. This part. He literally put us, I think, he, he's like a, I don't even know, I, it feels like he put us in a genjutsu or something. There's these guys from, I think, chapter 2. There's some, like, sort of genjutsu a little bit. Or he's like some psychic. Or at least, what was supposed to be, down in the dark and cold depths of the facility. The circumstances force you to do things that are out of your nature. When I feel that I'm straying too far off my original course, I head to the room I found to meditate again to mentally reboot. I come to this place, and then I am reminded that what I'm fighting for is worth all of this pain and suffering. Of course, 
None of this is real. But it all comes. Nah, I just want to get you too. I have never had actual sun rays touch my skin. Can you imagine that? And I yearn for the day that they finally do. I need the children to achieve that. But do not worry. I will practice the safest of procedures. He seems crazy, man. I don't know. I to do with the adults. I will make sure to keep one alive and sane so that the surviving children are delivered to the surface safe and sound. We're playing this music like he's actually a nice guy, he's not. Course, to deliver me to where I choose to be. I'm gonna be in the water with your friends. To live the simple life of a completely brainless jellyfish. Just munching on shrimp and avoiding getting eaten by turtles all day. You never appreciate how calming it is to have no conscience until you have one. I admire your courage, so I am giving you the chance to walk away. No! Okay. Sir, I will not! You lose both your life and the chance to see your child. No, I will not leave, friend. Okay. Oh no, bye white face man. Why is that the guy here? I, I don't know why he's there. In that, in that, like, Genjutsu thing. Uh, he's like, I swear, he's like, uh, Sasuke. Or Itachi, you know? No liver, no intestine. Ah, oh, so crazy. But most importantly, the devil has been released. No pancreas. No pancreas. You, sir, need to have more organs. His voice is just Someone deeper. To eat when there's nothing to eat. Guess I'm going to have to look elsewhere. Yes, my good sir, and not kill me, please, thank you, cause I want to live, and you know. Yeah, but he looks crazy. When I saw that, like, I was like, bro, what the hell, bro? His, his demon ass came out, you know? Oh, and now we're playing, oh, yes, Stinger Flint or whatever. We have, ooh, he just gives us the body of a jellyfish, and I have become a jellyfish! Oh! Huh, I could, oh, shoot my electricity. Ooh. Okay, let's try that. Where is it? Okay. okay. See if I can speed run this. I don't want to cut this out. I might do one of these and then cut the rest out. Or not cut all of them out, but like speed, speed cut, you know. I think it's gonna be. Okay. Got the first one, man. I don't like how they reuse this area, though. This area is from chapter two. I don't like how they reuse it. Well, so, you know, just like why reuse the same? Stuff from chapter 2 that just feels like they're being lazy, you know? Like, I'm not trying to be rude to the developers. You guys might be small developers, but you guys are sure really releasing these games super quick, you know what I'm saying? I swear if in the next two weeks they already released the fourth game, it's gonna be, like, just crazy. I'm just that guy, you know? I don't miss. <laughs> okay, I don't miss. I miss. Okay. Oh my gosh, I miss. I really miss, man. I really miss when I really said that. Damn it. I don't miss. 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 Got it. Go. Shoot it. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Easy. Got it. That's the last one? Yes, we did. We're gonna have to go bottom. So it is random. I thought it wasn't random. Honestly. I thought it was not random. We are going in. We gotta turn this on. Like, this, this area, like, this very beginning section isn't too bad. I didn't struggle with any of the stuff right here. But this, this scared me. This, this, this scared me. Like, I turned it and I just see her standing there. You need to hide. They're coming. coming. What does she mean by that? Who's coming? The Tapa. Whoa, she is really is in transmission. She's so fast. Like, she's not just a slow fucking snail. She's actually the opposite of that. Fast. She's fast. She literally has an instant transmission. But when I saw it, like I said, it scared me. It scared me. But it didn't, like, scare me that bad. It just made me jump a bit, you know? Toadsters. Yeah, okay, so yeah. Toadster's place. Shut up, Toadster. 
Jeff mission. Chef Tessa is catching criminals. Catch and tang criminals to get your prize. Tessa jail the place all criminals tremble when they hear about. Okay. Let's find these criminals. I want to get these criminals. I want to take them to jail because they did such bad things. Oh, you look at you. Freaking, you need to go to jail. So this is the devil again. Case 6 remains in an unstable mental state, attacking anyone and anything that attempts to approach them and not responding to any instructions delivered through speakers. Despite being released for solitary for much of the day, they choose to stay huddled in the corner of their holding chamber, choosing to pace around the room while whispering to themselves insensibly. Words that were made out include, but our not limited to Givanium, Givanium, Pancreas, Everly, and Oofman. I think Oofman is like a person from the passport from the first game. Context to usage of these terms remain absent. A request to upper management has been submitted regarding usage of, oh, unorthodox? Unorthodox methods of sedation. Sedation. I don't know, I think I skipped that one last time, but sed, sedation, sed, sedation, sedation, such as application of modified geranium solutions and potentially the introduction of a companion, we await their response. Case, is that right? Introduction of a companion, oh. So is that, uh, what's her name, Bambolina? Oh, hi, my friend. I need to collect you for jail. You need to go to jail. This button. I actually didn't find this in my original playthrough. I was watching some other people's videos and I saw, like, that. There's a secret thing, and I think this is, what, a tape or something? Yeah, a tape. But I don't even know if it's really anything good. I don't think it's really anything important, so, I don't know, we gotta do this, this light game actually, it, 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 it was, it's actually easier than I thought it was, when I was playing it for the first time, it was, for some reason I was confused and I didn't understand it, like, I was like, follow the light trail and jump on the lights of the so basically what you have to do is, all you have to really do is literally jump on the lights, and I was doing none of that, so we need the blue key card, oh yeah, we need to put, I think the, oh, there's a hat over there. Yeah, we got all that pink guys, right? Yeah, we got all the guys. Let me go put you guys in there and get the blue key card. One, two, three. One, two, and three. It's simple, but at first I was really so struggling with this. It took me like a couple of like, minutes or even way longer. I don't know how long. So that's green, and now we just, I don't, I don't care about the hat. I'm not gonna pick it up. Okay, so that will open the main door, right? Okay, it does. So we got that secret cape. So that door is open now. And... What happened to you is one of Singer Flynn's tricks. Genjutsu. He left for the progressive sector, but we have something more important to deal with right now. See Nab Nab's room? It's open now, which means he's inside. He's only, he's only hunt, hunt, and it's, it's too dangerous, dangerous to, do to do anything in this state. state. We, have, we to have to deal with him. Luckily, Luckily I have a solution, but you won't, won't like it. Head, head to the, the medical sector, sector and we'll talk there. there. Yep, heading to the medical sector. So, I don't think he's down here because... He said that he, he went to the medical sector. Yeah, he's not there. Look at that empty space. They could have filled it with something like, more like... Wait, what the... F Wait, what is that? I don't know, that's the last. There's somebody standing up there. I was like, what the hell? I'm tripping today, man. I am tripping. Oh, 
Oh, you can see that room. You guys saw that, right? You can really see that room. You can really see what's in there. I think it was just a or whatever. That looked like they were in there. Or Bambolina was in there. You can really see through the map. They needed to fix that too. But you can really see through the map. Oh, it's a frog. Oh, this could be Chef Tugster. Right? Did he get turned? Oh, there is a hat right there, too. Could be a... She obviously, he's Sheriff, so maybe a, the genome builder could have been a Sheriff and into, a, like, a weird freaking toad and then there's a piece of a Chef Toad, you know? Let's see if we can see that glitch again. Because it is fucking that glitch, bro. This better be returning, too, because I pressed, I pressed it before I even clicked into the game, so... I, uh, press the record button so it should be recording. It did say it was recording, so this is good, but I know you guys probably want to see my first reaction. I got, I wanted to get you guys to see my reaction. Yeah, but I know you guys probably wanted to see me get scared and I just didn't get scared this game, you know. And that's why maybe, you know, some of that footage was meant to be lost, you know. Maybe because it actually didn't really mean it because, like, I didn't get scared, you know, and you guys wouldn't probably like if I didn't get, you know, if I, if I didn't get scared, so I don't know. See, look, there's a box under there or something. What is that, a wall or something? I don't know. So you can kind of see some, like, out-of-bound areas you can, like, kind of see. Like, you can see that area over there. You can see that all that area over there. Like, you can see, like, kind of the box area. It's, like, it's being, like... This, okay, so there's another letter right here. K6, the devil. K6 is rebellious behavior remained unchanged even after the introduction to K7. And so, alternative methods were approved by management to encourage cooperation. One such method was the introduction of a newly modified Javanium solution engineered to lower the functions of self-thinking in any cases. Case 2 of type 5, which is responsible for one's brain function. This newly modified Jivanium solution will never be applied again, and all, act, all excess material will be locked away under heavy sed sedation. The new solution was applied to Case's system shortly after Case 6 appeared to experience Especially a stomach pain that was so aching it fell on its knees while holding its thumb before undergoing significant physical changes. It appears the solution was so effective at limiting self-thinking that K6 fell victim to the primitive instincts. Primitive instincts. We are so badly trying to avoid cases not ready for presentation. So is that how he transforms into his, like, devil form or something like that? The one that we saw? Because he said he wasn't trying to kill us in the very beginning, too. That's why he locked himself in, in the room, you know? He wanted, he wanted to lock himself away so he doesn't try killing us. I don't think there's anything over here, though. This is locked. Yeah, it's locked. And I think everything else, there's nothing here. But this part of the game isn't actually bad. I think it took me first try when I first played it. So, this should be easy to do, but the instructions when I first heard it, I thought it was going to be really harder than it was, but it actually was easier. Go in. So, it's Nabalina. We gotta do some work on Nabalina. When Nab Nab escaped, it wasn't long before workers started to disappear. Of course, precautions and trading can only get you so far, so we had to think of a more permanent solution. Nabnalina was that solution. We had a theory that Nabna was as aggressive as he was due to his loneliness. We never got to prove this theory right, as the collapse happened during the surgery. That's where you come in. You'll be carrying out the final steps of said surgery. Let's do it then. The procedures are very delicate. So I'm going to need you to pay very close attention to these instructions. I got it, sir, Bam Bam. All you need to do is mix the right right concentrations and inject you with it about six times. The machine with the droplet symbols is where that's done. When it's time, the screen will light up with a symbol of the needed concentration. Got it. For simplicity, the concentrations have been represented by colors. Okay, man. Achieve the right concentration. 
then collect it in the syringe and give it to Navna Lickman. The machine with the colored pipes will occasionally shift to the wrong colors, and when that happens, use the given tongs to revert them all to their normal state of green. The buttons on the walls will also malfunction at times. When that happens, hit any ones that are lit with your drone. The excess gevanium that you can find will it, be deplete when anything malfunctions or when a concentration is needed to be delivered. The procedure stops, stops if any of the four deplete completely, and what happens, happens next, next is never good. good. It is never good. Most of us perform gevanium procedures, but we don't have much of a choice. Good luck. Just read this, because I'm bothering with you, so I'll still read it for you guys. A good doctor knows to, knows to prevent excess gyvanium from depleting completely by injecting subjects with the correctly mixed concentration as soon as they are needed. And all power suppliers back to green when they are in malfunction. Punching wall buttons as soon as they need punching, okay. So, I gotta get snap lead and get your butt on the table and sit like that with freaking that wine, freaking crazy mouth, like. Okay, so we just gotta do these in the colors. We gotta put them in order, say, like, blue, blue makes blue, red, 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 which is weird. But green, green makes green. Yeah, red, okay, and makes that, and yeah. And that's the whole <coughs> thing, so. I'm gonna start this doctor procedure. Blue, blue, okay. So, blue, blue. Blue, blue. Oh yeah, I need the uh, syringe. So we gotta get this. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to. Okay, okay. Oh shit. Blue, teal, okay, so green. No, blue and green. Blue. Blue and green, blue and green, okay? Blue and green. Blue and green, blue and green, okay. <laughs> Why am I still saying that? I just finished that, okay? Come on, dude, okay. Come on, come on. Faster. No, I fucked up. I might be dead. Okay. Go, so, uh, blue, okay? So it's blue and green, blue and green. Oh yeah, I'm fast. I'm fast with it, man. I'm fast. So I'm so fast with it. Uh, okay, they're off. Let's get these ones first. And you are good. Okay, there's a color. I hear a color. Okay, I got it on. Okay, no color. Okay, it's just glitch or something because it's giving me the same color. I got it, man, I got it. That could be the last one. Okay. I just said, okay, okay. We got it, though. We got it. Uh, red and green, red and green. Red, green. Now, Lido, we're going to save you, okay? We're going to save you. We're gonna save you alive. All I ever wanted to do was save you alive. Well, copyright. Let me get this. You were stay there. You're not gonna stay there now, Melina. Great. Hi, we just, I looked at you. We just helped you. Are we friends? Look at your, why does she just have skinny little hands? Like, why is her hands so skinny? Like, wow, why do you have no fingers or anything? Or you just, I guess spiders don't really have fingers, actually, but. They must have stuff like that, you know, like their skinny hands, you know? Look at you got your skinny little hands and you're buff too, just like Captain Fiddles. Captain Fiddles is buff, yeah, he's, he's freaking buff. He's really buff. I hope that wasn't too hard. It wasn't. Anyway, grab the audio disc and head back to the aquatic sector. You know who they're talking to? Spider Union. Oh, it's, it's so, it's just, it's just not good, man. What you just said wasn't good. So we had to go to what? Again, I didn't even hear what you said, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. Wait, you can't just see that through the, like, 
We we have to close that up there. Wait, is that band aid? You guys see that? I'm gonna have to zoom in on that. There's, it looked like band aid or something. You can like see through the whole fucking like level. I feel like band aid was running up there. It looked like he was running. Oh yeah, it's this place because we have an audio disc. Oh yeah. We gotta place it in that one thing. Nah, but wait, you know, look at you. Just a copy of your freaking uh, friend over there. Spider assembly called us away from the doors and windows. Okay. Get away from them. Get away from them. Get away from them. Oh, Nabalina! Hey! <laughs> Why did she walk like that? Her feet? Oh, that's so funny. Oh, look at him, Nab Nab! They're, they're, they're like walking together. Look at them. They're walking in sync. Are they doing a little tap dance? Or is this like a, a mating thing, you know? Look, you see her eyes. She's not even looking at him. And he's not even looking at her. They're not even looking at each other. He's, how does he know where she, he is? Like, he's probably just happy now. He's a friend. Whoa. That sounded like Jumbo Josh or... Oh, oh. Oh, Nabalita! What happened, Nabalita? Actually, don't even know what happened there. Did Nab Nab get beat the fuck up, or is Nab Nab beating somebody up for her? And then she just ran inside. She's like, protect me, Nab Nab! And then she just runs back into home and hide. You know, like. Isn't that Nab Nab's? No, not Nab Nab's. Bam Bam's party hat. Can't move. Oh yeah, the cutscene, yep. Hi, Stinger Flynn! You really don't look happy with me. Overstay, you're welcome here. I had fun, you know, it's, it's fun. I you an offer, but guess what? Accepting it is long over. Okay, please, actually, no, just throw me out of this place. I don't want to be here. I hate, I hate this place. I won't get rid of you or collect you just yet. I was never one to abide by Please, please throw me away, sir. Please just throw me down the abyss. I need you a lot more than I do. They too are on a path to achieve peace of mind. I already have more than enough subjects to move forward with my aspiration and my ultimate. Oh, he's about to do the Genjutsu! He's about to do the Genjutsu! Get your hand away from me, man! I no, I won't. Take a nap. Okay, put me to sleep. You put me to Genjutsu again. Fuck, we're about to get Gen. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this part is funny. Okay, so this is the part. You. Captain Fiddles. You're finally awake. What's up, man? man? Look at Captain Fiddles. Fiddles. He's so small. Feels like we've been in this car forever. A peanut bird, and then how is Stinger Flynn driving the car? Finger. When are we arriving at this place called Beach? Well, he does have a car called a Stinger Mobile or whatever. What? I don't know. I don't... Oh, I forgot that happened. That's gonna be it. Nice. Why <laughs> she say nice? Oh, <laughs> this is funny as hell, bro. Okay, the being who asked for your opinion. The Can you being? Put some music on since we're gonna be out here for a while. Oh no, not the copyrighted music. I think it's copyrighted. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's so meme, bro. It's just meme, bro. This part of the game just doesn't make That's it scary. This just doesn't make it scary, Bam Bam. Akira does not like that. And Captain feels like, he's just buff. He's just buff like that. He doesn't seem phased about it. Yeah, he, he doesn't... He's like, what? He's just waving like, hello. Okay, decent answer. What is this song, dude? Can you stop vocalizing for just one second so I can focus on the road? What do you mean, focus on the We're literally like going, yeah, something like that. Oh, da da da! Oh, yeah, I forgot you were back here. Am I right, Opila? Nah, man! He just, he just wants to be friends, dude. He just wants to be friends with us. Whoa! Oh, I forgot. Utters another infuriating sentence. I will stuff your whole body. Whoa! My gosh! He <laughs> just, they just crashed the car. Oh my gosh. 
shit is funny though. That shit is funny. See, that's Mimi stuff right there. Like, that is stuff that is funny and not scary. And that's why I said this chapter doesn't seem, it's not really that scary. Like, it's just not. Like, compared to chapter two, two guys, you guys remember what happened in chapter two. So, you guys know how scared I was in that. And even in chapter one, scared me. Like, more than chapter two. Like, really, chapter one. Yeah, is that like, the same as that. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that guy? Oh no, not this thing. Oh fuck. This shit was kind of annoying. Cause when we get to those ones over there, those are kind of annoying. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to do, do pretty good at this. I'm gonna try to be good at this. But that last one gets super fast, so it's like... If y'all are still here watching it, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, even if I've already played this. Yeah, I really wanted to get my re first reaction out, but... Well, actually, I'm actually being lit with this. Oh, I actually did that first try. I did not do that before when I first played. I did not do that. Okay, I just gotta like... Got it. Okay, last one's gonna be way harder. This one I, I struggled on. Whoa. You just gotta kinda do this. Okay, I think that was the same one I hit. Now I'll do it a little more. I'm not even trying to... Cause I can't see where the other one is, so... Cause it's too fast. Can't see, it's too fast. See, I, I hate this part, bro. Like, it's just too fucking... Okay, got it, okay. I was about to start getting mad. Ugh. This game, it just wasn't scary, though. It just isn't. Like, that part was funny and all, but, like, being serious, this game's supposed to be scary, like... But I just feel like the developers don't really care at this point. They're just, well, they never really care, but it seems like as the more chapters, they just seem like they want money, and that's all they want out of this project, because they seem like they're taking advantage of, like, the fame that it's getting, you know? All of the, okay. Finally, oh, no. <sighs> I was getting really bored, and that fellow over there isn't much of a talker. Plus, it's scary here. That big green guy keeps checking in on us. I think he believes we're some sort of dolls. We could use that to our advantage to try and escape. He cannot know that we're alive. Yeah, you should be dead. If we move or change something in the room, let's make sure that it's back to the way it was before he checks in on us again. Yes. This way, we can inch our way towards escaping, all while he doesn't suspect a thing. I hate this in part. In other words, from his point of view, the room must remain unchanged. Yes. When he's close, the lights change color. So yep. go back to your chair when the lights change. I don't know where to start though, so you give it a try. Let's do this. This part was so fucking annoying, dude, when I first played. It took me like, I don't know how many tries, a lot of tries. And I haven't had this fucking past hour, he's pretending like he's dead or something. Hey, Nabalina! I'm not Nabalina, Bambalina, what am I saying? Bambalina? So, gray, green, red, yellow. Gray, green, red, yellow. Gray, green, green, red, yellow. Gray, green, red, yellow. Okay, so we just gotta remember the stuff where it's put out and this part just took me so long, dude. Ugh. See, dude, if I had the footage for you guys, it'd be so entertaining to watch or so boring to watch, I don't know. But, like, dude, it was just so crazy, bro. Like, it just was just a fucking struggle. And then not, not being able to get this out to you guys and finding out that my recording didn't even record at all. It really pissed me off. Uh, it really did. I forgot all about that. I had to do that. Oh shit. Quick, sit down. He's coming. Yep. Okay, gray, green, red, yellow. Okay. So I don't think it matters if we move around. We can move around as much as what. Cause at first I thought you have to like stay still and stuff. Uh, we should be fine though. We should be fine. Jumbo Josh, come on, Jumbo Josh. Kid is right, okay. Okay, I was about to say, if it would have counted me failing it, I would have been pissed. I would have been fucking mad. I would have been... I would have been upset, man. I would have been in a good mood right there. I would not have been in a good mood. I hate this shit, dude. It took me so long. I know I'm repeating myself, guys, but now I'm just trying to get my thoughts out, you know? 
Yep, I'm coming. Uh, so basically what we have to do is, we're not doing this today. Yep, we're not doing it. It just isn't the best time. Like, we're literally about to get killed. I'm about to get killed. You're probably not going to get killed. So, like, I'm risking my life over here for you guys. While, like, literally, I have to do this, you know? You guys can just sit there and do whatever you fucking want. Mad Mad just is slept, or he's pretending to be slept because he's scared to get beat up by Jumbo Josh because he knows he can't hang with him, bro. See, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this part, uh... Fuck. Got it. Okay, door closed. Okay, yeah. Because once you sit down, you can't actually get off of your chair, which... I remember, literally, I sit down in the chair, bro. And I'm like, I look over and I'm like, oh, I forgot. I messed up. I forgot to close the door or something like that. And I had to... I was so... Oh, this part pissed me off. And it's like, each puzzle was getting so much more annoying. Even though in the beginning, some of the puzzles were easier. But, like, I'm saying... As the puzzles went on, they started getting more and more and tedious, and I just started just getting annoyed at the game and not wanting to play it. And even though I did finish it, but like, it just was so annoying. Like, this part's annoying too. You gotta like, oh, you gotta do like that. Okay, there we go. Oh, so close. Come on, we got it. Oh, bro, seven years old. Oh no, bro! If this, I swear, bro! If I start messing up on this, what? How am I messing up? Oh, why you're telling me, stupid? Oh, you're fucking no, you're joking me, bro! No, you're fucking joking me. What? There's no fucking way. There's no way. I'm telling you, they're selling me on purpose. What? There's no way. No, there's no way. I'm gonna have to restart. Oh my gosh. This is so fucking stupid. This is stupid as shit. This is bull. Okay, Nabalina, you fucking... Oh my gosh, you can see in a Bambalina. You better stay fucking there and just sit the fuck down. Like, I said Nabalina because they literally had this basically the same exact name. Okay. This game is actually still pissing me off, bro. I didn't think I would be still pissed off, but I am. Uh, I'll never come back to this game, dude. I'm telling you. Oh, there's no way. See, like, I had my finger on the button. No, see, there's no way. You're telling me. You're tapping me, though. Okay, got it. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. See if I can just try in. Okay, we did it. Oh, fuck. That still was annoying. That still was annoying. Bambolina, I'll cast it in your mind. Bambolina, come on, let's go. Hey, you're leaving it. You better not kill me. Are we friends? Okay, we actually are friends. See? Like, she's eight feet tall and she's buff. Like, it makes no sense. Like, at least make her look more feminine if you think, if you want her to be a female character. Like, like you made her look more male and, like, made her buff, too. Not saying females can't be buff, they can, but, like, this, you know. It didn't seem like it was meant to be buff. So these are the areas for the other characters. But, let me get chased up a bit. And there's her room. Or whatever, her, I think it's, is that her teacher room? I don't know. Her room where she teaches. So we're back in this area. This takes the yeah, back here. That door I don't think ever opens back there. But, she's gonna go up the elevator. I wonder if I can go in with the elevator. I'm heading back to class, and oh. I expect you to be there before the fourth lesson starts. Oh, I'm not going to be there. Me, you do not want to miss that one. Wow. Children are eagerly awaiting my return, so up I go. Okay. Bye. I did not actually hear that voice line before. Bye. But she still doesn't want to miss this, the fourth class or whatever. So she's still kind of evil. If you think about it, she's still evil. She ain't really friendly. She's still like, all oh, cute. Wait. Why is it over there? I don't remember that being over there. What the fuck? That's weird. Well, I guess he did, like, take us and he made us go in his game to do again. And... Yeah. Should be coming over here, though. I think it's right there. You can see the blue a little bit. Okay, we had to do that. I feel like. It felt like it was glitched. I think last time, I think the thing was supposed to already be there, but. 
I guess so this game has a lot of bugs. Uh, it's tedious. My expectations are gonna be really low. Unless they can like somehow make it scarier, then yeah. Because I know you guys wanna see me get scared, and this, this chapter hasn't done nothing. It literally has this three star. Yeah, see, it's supposed to be there. So I got a glitch. Let's check the kit out there. So this one is, I think, Bambolina right there, and it's like some lady or some girl or some, I don't know. Something like that. I don't, I don't know who that is, but. So now we gotta go to the, this way. And I think, actually, I forgot to tell you guys, in this area, I think something happened. Like, I went walking up, and I remember, like, I don't know if it works. Cause, like, I swear, I remember last time, like, I was walking, I was, like, looking around and stuff. I turn around, and I see, like, a, I don't know, there's, like, a movement or something that comes up. It's, like, I don't know if it was slow or something, but there's something that popped up. And I see that out of the corner of my eye. It was, like, I turned around, and I seen something, like, right down there, and it went back down, like, it went like down there. So like, I think it was like, I don't know if it's like pick up the hat, I don't know. It was something, there was something that I did. I could have been after that pick up the paper or something. I don't know. But there was something, yeah. I know there was something, and I wish I could have had that footage because I don't know if this puzzle. I think I get how to do this puzzle now. Actually wait, no, this is, this is actually, I think I'm done actually guys. Yeah, this is where I stopped at, so. What I'm gonna do is, real quick, cause this is actually super close to where I, uh, basically, am done. Or basically what happens is, from now, I'm gonna show you guys in the footage in a second, but what I wanna show you guys, look at the cute baby right here. So we kinda stop right here, and literally my footage picks up around right in this area. Doing the puzzle and everything. So I'm gonna show you guys that effect. But I wanna show you this. Like, he's just friendly, but you see that? Go. Oh, I just got, yep. Oh, yeah, I did not wanna get jump scared, but that, that jump scare got me when I first, when I, when I, cause I thought I, I literally just tried to go up to him, and then, yeah, the, the bird man, bird man just swooped up on me, like, oh, yeah, guys, uh, that's gonna be it for future me, right? Future me. So we're gonna, uh, you know, play this, some of the stuff that I hate. The rest of my reaction, which is my real reaction to the end of the game. But guys, warning, I am, uh, I don't think I actually read this. Wait, hold on. Let me read this real quick, because I don't think I read this. Today marks the first day that Case 13 was introduced to its human genome donor. The result, or not, what was it? And it's the jellyfish, okay. Anyway, it's the jellyfish. In clear contrast to what occurred during the Revelation Day of both Case 6 and 7, which resulted in complete meltdowns of the cases, Case 13 assured the original genome donor that it was aware that what it was in its typical calm manner, this was despite, this is despite having described identical events to what Case 6 has described regarding their bodies, such as an explain immense pain that per persists across their entire body as well as sharing similar physical attributes such as body growth and the presence of many large veins we await management's decision regarding the risk of presenting a case that is this intelligent and unpredictable case client. Tada Bird says protect your loved ones they love you back the same. So that's it this is where I left off basically doing the puzzle and everything. And this is where my recording picks up. It's gonna be where future me is done. And I'm gonna actually let past me. He's angry, but he's gonna be doing the commentating and everything. And yeah, the rest of it is his. And this is going back to yesterday now. So, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Or I should, I should catch you guys in past me yesterday, which was trying to finish Garden of Bam Bam 3, and it was really angry. Peace! I literally had that recording the whole time. What? Oh, guys, uh... Yeah, the recording did not record, uh... So, yeah, we were right here, but... My recording wasn't recording, so... Yeah, and now I'm stuck in this puzzle and I gotta look it up. So, guys, uh, I was reading notes and stuff, but... Like, there's no point in me trying to explain it right now, guys. Because it didn't even record. I pressed my fucking record button. It didn't record. I'm done, dude. I'm literally about to not play this. It ain't worth it, bro. I literally just wasted time for nothing. Literally going through all that bullshit. For nothing. 
For what? I recorded for what? Now what do I do? Do I just end the gameplay? Like, I don't want to do this, guys. Like, I don't know if I'm going to do this, guys. Because, like, I try to get a gameplay out for you. I press my F5 key, which is record. I thought it was recording the whole time. But apparently, the fucking game wasn't recording. So I'm pissed now. I'm actually pissed. Fucking, let's look up the code. Because, like, I don't fucking know it, bro. It's, why am I doing this, actually? Why am I doing this? Why am I wasting my time on this stupid game? I'm about to, guys, I'm done. Uh, I'm about to not do this. Guys, I literally just wasted my time, guys. There was only one jump scare that kind of got me in this, so... It really wasn't too crazy, too, because, like... It was, a, it was just not good, really. But I still wanted to get it up for you guys, but now I'm not going to be able to probably do it, so... Yeah. I'm done, guys. Uh, this was a waste of my time. Uh, and it just in general was kind of a waste of my time. And we're still just going to continue it. You guys probably seen it on other people's channel anyway, so... But I'm just pissed that I wasted my time. Uh, all that talking, all that fucking part with Bambolina, and oh, oh, it's so fucked. You guys can even saw that. It was so bullshit. It was so bullshit, bro. I could still continue it, it just won't be the same, dude. It won't even be the same. Oh, fucking final. This game's just been pissing me off. I thought I was recording, but apparently I wasn't the whole time. I just pressed F5. That was my key literally every time I record. I'm actually, guys, I'm just pissed right now. Like, what is he gonna do? Should not be moving without its costume. I, I don't know. I'm just gonna try to spin around this, because, like... Ah, so we have to get to the one bird. I'll catch you guys up. We have to get... We literally have to jump on one of the birds back, because they're protecting the child over there, uh, so... You guys probably already seen the game, so I'm just gonna keep going through. I don't even wanna read, guys. I just don't wanna read right now. I just don't. So I'll skim through it a little bit. Case 13 is even capable of speech. Fluent speech, okay. Yeah, which is basically the jellyfish. We know this. Be ready for the upcoming Bring a Friend Day. Ask Case 12. Case ready. Okay, he's not ready for presentation, basically. We know what he has, bro. We know what he has. He has some fucking Genjutsu where he basically makes you go to sleep. The one funniest part in the game, too, was the part where they had Captain Fiddles and literally Stinger Flynn drive a car and shit. That was so funny to me, dude. And that was the most meaningless part of the whole game. Uh, audio equals button, okay. What is... What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Whoa, okay, that's what we have to do, okay. I'm not really even scared, but... I'm just fucking pissed, dude. What is that? Oh, I see. I see. This is really like a boss fight. Oh, it's tongue. Okay, okay. Well, I'm just mad right now, guys. Put it on the tongue. Guys, I'm just, I'm not even, I'm just not talking. I'm sorry I'm not talking, but I just am pissed right now, dude. That's just all I am right now, dude. I'm just freaking pissed. That's all I can say right now. The whole game just made me angry, dude. That's all I did. Come on, you stupid turtle, you bitch. Oh, he's done for. Dumbass. Uh, stupid dumbass man. So we're gonna have to definitely get to that bird somehow. Yeah, I'm just mad, but ah, uh, it's, it's not even just the recording that pissed me off. Well, it, it did. That pisses me off, but it's a lot of the game too. Like this game just really just pissed me off. Like what the fuck? Was that the boy dude with the, yeah, it kind of looks like his mouth. But then who's that down there, the purple and green thing? That's the Transforce fucking thing, whatever that thing is. So that was the first boss fight of the game. Ever. That was so boring. Now I'm still in the hate I, I just hated this chapter. I didn't like it. I just didn't like it. It was not fun. There's barely any jump scares. If you guys know, you know. You really just seen it. It's literally... Wait, what is going on? Was the rooms always like this? I don't remember it being like this. Oh, I see. Put that okay. Hand over your... Oh, okay. Nah, don't... I don't want... 
Whoa, okay, apparently somebody's dying because of their prankers. Okay. That's really weird. So tell me, what does that do for me? That does fucking nothing, man, for me. Ah, oh, stupid fucking birds. Like, how do I get up there? What do I gotta do, game? What do I gotta do right now? Like, I fight this boss and this literally does nothing for me? Three stones with one. Oh, I had to move it. Okay. Behave or get banned, banned. Oh, nice joke. Fuck off, right. Three stones with one bird. Oh, yeah, for some reason. Behave or get banned, banned. <laughs> get banned, banned. Three stones with one bird. So stupid. Behave or get banned, banned. Hand over your pancreas. No. Behave or get banned, banned. I don't care. Three stones with one bird. Oh, so it's be like a distraction, okay. Hand over your pancreas. I'll stop with it. Hand oh over my, you're gonna say it again. Three stones with one bird. Behave or get banned, banned. One more time. That's your fucking bird. You don't scare me, man. How do you just teleport from the top to the bottom? Like, it said I have to jump on him, right? But, I don't know, man. Just, oh, man, I'm so fucking pissed. I can't be bothered. My energy is gone and I wasted it for no reason. Like, I was just talking to myself. Literally, for a whole hour, dude. Like, I hate it, dude. I hate all oh, doing all oh, no. now. I'm not resetting everything, dude. I'm not doing it. Guys, I'm not doing it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this. I can't be bothered to do the boss fight again. This game is garbage. No checkpoints. I literally completed it, dude. This is so stupid. I can't do it, dude. It's so trash. I literally have to go... Okay, so I don't have to redo the boss fight, but it's still fucking trash. At least spawn me near the damn fucking thing, you these fucking developers are, oh my gosh, so fucking greedy just for money, dude. Trash game, dude. Everything about it is just garbage. I ain't gonna post this probably, because it's just bad. Everything about it is bad. I'm even scared. The whole point of this was supposed to do it because I get scared of scary games, and it just failed to meet its expectations, man. It didn't scare me, so, like, I don't want to have to fucking... Play this if it's not scaring me, guys. Like, that's just the truth. Like, you, know, you guys wanted to see me get scared. That's the whole point of, like, me playing it. And it's... It's the opposite, okay? So, like, such a bad game. Developers get good at making a fucking game. You guys ain't even trying, bro. Honestly, you just been doing this for money, bro. $5 for this fucking crap. Oh. What? It said, it did say jump on the back of it, because I was reading that too, and so you can have, uh, I don't know, man. I hate this game, the worst game I've ever played. Chapter 2, uh, if I had to say chapter 2 is a little bit better than chapter 3, it just seems like it gets worse every chapter. Chapter 1 was the best. Like, if I'm literally wasting my time for nothing playing this, guys, and I'm sorry, like, like I literally lost the footage, because... Bro, I didn't even record. I pressed, but the thing is, I know I pressed the button. I remember, before I started the recording, I made, like, as soon as I pressed new game, I started the recording. I pressed F5. That's my key bind to start recording, and I pressed it. I know I pressed, I pressed it, like, a couple of times, too, just to make sure I pressed it. And I don't know why it just didn't record. And this is, sometimes I have problems with that in games, where I press the F5 and then like, OBS is going to start recording. I'm like, I don't know why. It's so fucking garbage. I just don't want to do this stupid game or even fucking do the video now. I just don't feel like I'm tired now. Like, I got a good idea. 
there was a cheap high ground jump in my other subject back. And try to move there. I did see that, but... I got you, bro! Let's go. Hey! Hey! How do I drop is the question. Oh, there. Okay. Hey, you're welcome for your birds. Now you guys are my friends or something? You're so cute. You're with your mother and your dad. Okay. Bird riding is a new one. I'll give you that. Wow. What drives you forward so vigorously? I refuse to accept that it's your protective parental instincts. Oh, shut up, stupid oh, orange no. fuck. Someone has given you false hope. Promised you what you want when all along they had one thing on their mind. Pancreases. Yes. At first, I was confused by how everything was going perfectly in your favor, despite you never being here before. And then it hit me. Someone has to have been guiding you. And as with most things, I was right. It did have help. Yeah, I was banned, banned, bro. Your friend here has helped me tremendously. Thanks to him. I bore witness to very vital information. What information, you ask? Well, when my turn comes, I will simply prevent myself from turning into what he turned into. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, that was evil. Low on speed down. Let's go, team! Let's go! It was recorded though for you guys. My bad, but that's not my fault because I pressed the button, but I don't know why it didn't record. So you guys can't blame that all on me. Oh, her eyes are still red. She's like, whoa. Why is this running animation like that, too? It's so stupid. I'm not even scared anymore, dude. Like, at least shots at you gave me some scares. Like, I, you know, guys, I'll be honest, this, this whole chapter, even if you guys haven't seen the, obviously, because the recording didn't record, but what happened was I didn't even get scared, like, there was a lot of parts that was just tedious, and just, that one part with Bambolina, where you're just like, it's just so stupid, like, oh, pink life, okay, speed, speed up, speed up. Oh. Oh, you have to let her cross first, and then the blue ones you have to speed up. Okay. Guys, I wasn't reading the signs. I didn't know. I didn't know how to play it. <sighs> Just, it sucks I didn't record, but at the same time, I don't know if you guys would even want to see it. The game has like three stars on like Steam, so. Uh, that's like. I actually understand what to do now. So, I, I have to speed up. So he, I thought I had to move, but he moves by himself. I just gotta speed up and then slow down for a pila bird. Come on, a pila bird! No! Ah, oh, dude, you have to be like so like. I wonder if he's being controlled by a stinger or something, because he's not a bad guy, I don't think so. I wonder if he's mind controlling him or something. I wonder if he is, I don't know. How come the first two chapters are actually decent? Especially the first chapter was way more decent than the second chapter. But at least Nab Nab scared me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, slow down for her, slow down for her. Bird, go! Pillow Bird with your baby! Where is she at? Go! Go, speed up, he's coming, look at him! Oh, pink again, pink again, pink again. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Go, go, go. Huh, speed up, boy. You're fast as fuck. Oh, no, speed. Speed, 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 speed. There we go. Turn again, 
again, try again, try again. Fall down, fall down, fall down, boy. Fall down, dude, fall down. I don't know why we're friends all of a sudden. I know you guys hate me, but... Go! Oh, it's me, okay. Go! Oh, that's really close, that's really close. Go, Peter Bird! Cross the finish line! He's so fucking slow, look at him, man! Oh, she's fast, she's fast actually now, she's actually fast. Whoa, slow, slow! Go! Oh my gosh, this is getting a tent. This is getting a tent. Okay, go again. Okay, she's gotta go again. Yes, we did it! Whoa. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, this is... Oh, hey! Smell of your pancreas. Oh, uh, your pancreas. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, is he gonna get killed? <gasps> Jumbo Josh? Well, he's gonna have to stay. He didn't want to fucking. What are they fighting, bro? This is about to be a fucking battle to the fucking death. Look at Jumbo Josh. Oh. Oh, shit. His demon claws? Oh. Not fucking Ban Ban, dude, he's knocked the fuck out. No, don't kill him. Yeah, stop. Y'all are friends here. Stop it, you two. You guys are friends. Whoa. He's strong enough to beat the fuck out of... No! Hi, Peter Bird. Please don't kill me. Wait, what the fuck? Is going on? Oh, so are they dead? I don't know. They were literally fighting, apparently. I, I don't know why a cute little bird didn't, didn't kill us today. I don't know. Well, hi, baby! Hey, are we friends up? Find the kingdom, find the sheriff. Do not let the jester find you. The jester? I know the sheriff, but... Sheriff Toadster. Oh, hi, you're coming with us? More of that Jovinium. So they were battling. Oh, I don't know. If, I don't think they died, though, but... They might be still alive. They might just be wrestling up, you know? Wrestling. Okay, hey, you're so cute. You're gonna be with us in the next adventure? Your mom is not gonna be too happy about uh, us, you know, being, uh, being, uh, going down in this uh, dark depth abyss. Let's see if there's anything this time. Make sure we don't miss anything. Okay. I don't think there was anything that time. Hey, okay. I thought there would have been like Solus Link kind of like last chapter because I didn't see that last chapter. I seen that on other people's videos. <laughs> so that's okay. It's just showing Chef Toadster. I thought we were at his place in uh, chapter three because we were at his like little area. I wish he's somewhere else. So guys, it just wasn't that great. I'm not gonna redo the game. I know you guys probably would want to see that, but there's no point. I was, it was just a bunch of struggling for me. It wasn't even scary. The game wasn't even scary. It was just pretty, overall, a bad game. Uh, I didn't enjoy it. Uh, it, just, it just wasn't good. And I'm, if y'all want to see part, if you guys want to see part four, let me know. But I'm, I, I'm not redoing this game. There's just no point. Aside from if you want to see what happens. But it's just... Even still, there's no point because it's not my first reaction anymore because I was really pl already played through that part, you know what I'm saying? If I would have knew my recording was messed up earlier, I would have fixed it, but I didn't know my recording wasn't recording at all, like, ah, uh, it's annoying, but we still got the end part, so, and I finally seen that it was literally not recording the whole time, luckily, uh, so yeah, uh, so if you guys want to see part four, let me know, uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, peace out.